One of our rental cars, a Lamborghini Huracan Evo, is on fire right now, and we're going to go see what we can do about that. We just have to be trying to double back. I was wondering where everyone went. Hopefully, we have enough water. Are they, are they up there? So all fun things in life tend to cost a lot of money. Cars, travel, houses, all that stuff that you really want to splurge on. And when you do, you generally make that decision a little bit irrationally. And you may rack up some credit card debt, some other debts that you want to do, or just need funding to make these things possible. Well, that's where today's video sponsor, Upstart, is here to help. Upstart is a fast and easy way to get a personal loan to pay off your debt all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment. Upstart finds smarter rates with trusted partners because they assess more than just your credit score. With a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans from $1,000 to $50,000. You can get approved the same day and receive funds as fast as one business day. If debt is taking over your life, it's time to get a fresh start with Upstart. So visit upstart.com slash SSR. Your loan amount is going to be determined based off your credit, your income, and several other factors. That's upstart.com slash SSR. I put a link right below in the description. You want to get a handle on those high interest credit cards? Visit upstart.com slash SSR. What's up? All hat, no cattle. Ferretti here in Zion National Park. And it is gorgeous. And I realized something. Adventure Drives, you don't know this, but we do like private events. We're doing a private birthday this, this week, and that's why I haven't posted anything. I realized that I'm like the one of the largest renters of exotic cars for somebody who also owns an exotic car company because we rent in Europe, we rent all over the place to the tunes of hundreds of thousands of dollars. And this week is no exception. We scored a bunch of really cool cars to drive for a week. And I'm the guy that you want to rent your cars to, right? Because I'm like, all right, what has clear bra? What isn't? Let's go through the cars. Let's make sure, make sure everything's good. All right, this car's got cup tires, so let's not drive behind that because it'll throw rocks. Then you come to like the Midwest, West Coast, like the Utah and everything like that, and there's just no avoiding it. So we started out with six cars, uh, one of them being this. This is one of two Huracan Evos. Uh, the other one caught fire yesterday and we had to abandon it in Utah, mile post nine on highway 89. Here I go. The flambeau? Yeah, fire. This is, uh, you got a trail of oil back fire here. behind me. I was behind was, I thought it was going to fucking blow little up. A little bit of fire, then a little bit of fire, then a little bit more fire, then a little bit more fire, and then fireball. And then the lady who stopped over, the, the camper, had a fire extinguisher. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Trail of oil. 
Where are they going to tow it to? What are you going to tow it Leading up to the car that was on fire. I mean, it's like, so this thing probably threw a rod. I don't think it threw it. Should I try to start it up? No, don't start it up. You made the right to do it. As you can see, as you can see, back of the car caught fire. Uh, somebody with a camper van came by and put it out, which is nice. Yeah, but... <laughs> All right, we got to get back on the road. So that was fun. Um, luckily, we had extra seats in the Bentley that we were able to load up. But if you look at these cars, you're going to see like, wow, these cars are all in great condition because we all know how to drive. We're enjoying ourselves. Not one curbed wheel, not one like we're not doing donuts. We're not doing anything like that. But the inevitable rock chips are really catching up to us. Uh, this McLaren over here, this is a McLaren 620R and it has this like nice livery and stripe around it but if you look it's the stripe is i mean maybe we could just put a new stripe on that that may be the cheapest way to do it to just sort of somehow sand that down but this is a new car and it's just peppered with rocks and there's just no way around that i mean it's there's we're keeping distance but you can't space out that much it's just one of those things and I think we took out the windshield on this one too. Luckily, it was just like a rock chip on, maybe it wasn't this one, but at least like one or two windshields have suffered. But great car, but this one's driving on the uh, Trofeo R's, which is a, a lap record tire. Here's another one of our cars over here. It's the AMG GTR, which, look at that pan, nice, right? Uh, this GTR is, or the um, tires on this Trofeo R's, driving through Flagstaff, Arizona, on our way to Sedona. Who knew that we were gonna encounter snow? And here we are driving on like Cup 2s and Trofeo R's through the snow. And it was uh, sketchy to say the least. But these cars came from uh, Diplomat Car Rentals in Las Vegas. You guys can look them up. They've got a great collection. All the cars were solid. Even the car that caught fire and the oil line probably popped. Uh, it was an 1100 mile or started out with 1100 miles. Uh, to, uh, 2021 um, Huracan Evo. So like the car was perfect. It just wasn't that perfect. Now it's, you know, it's one of those things I always prefer if a car catches fire, not to put it out. Somebody came along in a camper van and threw us a fire extinguisher and we were able to essentially save the car for the warranty claim versus the insurance claim. Uh, here's the AMG GTR. This thing was a lot of fun. Got pulled over in this one so far. I got pulled over in that one. We got broke back Colt over here. He did not get pulled over yet, no, right? No. I have had no tickets this whole trip. A zero tickets. Watch me get one today. But with the face tattoo, you, you're <laughs> destined for jail. Like and anything jail. over like six over the limit, that guy's in behind bars. So they've got your cellmate picked out when they walk up to the car. So here you go. This car served us very well yesterday. Uh, pulled over at 108 in this one, and I was pulled over with Tierra driving at 110 in that one. Uh, I was able to talk my way out of her ticket. I was not able to talk my way out of my own, but uh, we're having a lot of fun. So we've got two 48s, we got the Spider and then the Coupe, uh, both doing really well. The, everything's doing really well, except the car that burned down. Uh, everything's doing really well. The AMG GTR, the McLaren, I'm not gonna tell you which one's faster. Maybe I'll post a video showing you uh, how these cars stack up against each other, but it's good times. Uh, and this is just the purpose of this is essentially that we can't prevent. And some of them handle it better than others, right? This one doesn't really have any rock damage, um, but this one just got toasted. And it's not like this car is up anyone's butt, but driving like Route 66, uh, driving through Oatman. I mean, there's a lot of loose gravel and rocks I think we have a windshield on this one's got to get at least filled is yes. No. I don't know. So whatever, it's, it's going to be two windshields. The problem is we're switching cars. This is one of those weird things that we're probably just going to have to write the check to fix them because if we eat the windshields and eat the spray on the front bumper, but I'm telling you, if you look, we're a great group of people to rent cars to not one scrape on any wheel, just standard like use of the cars. There's no scrape. There's no damage. There's nobody standing on hoods. We're just out here and effectively falling victim to the, uh, I want to say topography, but falling victim to the road conditions out west. 
and it hasn't been too hot. The snow didn't help anything, but we just drove a little slower. It's all rock chips and rock chips are the worst. And people hate like getting billed for rock chip repairs because it's, it's not really within your control. What are you gonna do? There's rocks on the road. But when you're going fast and rocks are kicking up, this one at least has the, uh, the wrap on it. You can't really control that. But I'm used to it. Uh, I've, I've repainted the front nose of my Ferrari after virtually every adventure drives. And this looks like it'll be no exception. That is privately owned. Bentley is privately owned, but the rest of them are all rentals. Now we're getting more today. They're gonna swap out. They need a couple of cars back. And that's why me being in the business, I'm like, you need to swap? Come on, take them, give us something else. They're taking the McLaren back. They're taking the black Ferrari back and they're taking uh, the white Evo. We're gonna end up getting a, what are we getting? We're getting an Aventador. We're getting another McLaren, a 720, and we're getting one other car, two other cars. I don't know, an NSX and something else. We'll find out what it is later. But just wanted to say what's up to everybody. Uh, we are all well and good, just haven't gotten around to making videos. Yeah, let's go. We're out of here in a minute. Uh, we're off to a yacht for lunch. This is fun times. Um, and then after that, back to Vegas for the weekend. And I will catch up with you guys on Monday. So thanks for watching. See you then. All right, I may have spoken too soon here. We ended up taking this wheel out. And this one. So I got too close to the gas pump and I uh, clipped the curb. Another Ferretti special, as I like to call it. There's a chip in the windshield. This was a brand new $300,000 car a minute ago. You're not liable for this one. Yeah, technically, yes. All right, thanks for watching the whole video. You know my other company, Adventure Drives. Well, we've got three drives coming up this year. We're doing a DC to Nashville drive through Tale of the Dragon, through the Smoky Mountains, drinking some moonshine. That's going to be a great time. That's in the end of April. Interested in something longer? Well, we're going to go to France and Spain for our European drive this summer. That's going to be in the first week of August. And Scotland, which you've heard so much about, will again be this coming October. So check them out, adventuredrives.com. There's a link below in the description.